My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got another special car for you today. It's a 1968 Impala SS427. This is a rare car. Not only a 427, but there's a four speed sitting in a console between bucket seats right there. This is a body off frame restored car to factory specs. Uh, only about a thousand miles on it since it's been done. Um, uh, a well known local collector has been collecting full size four speed cars and uh, we've been slowly selling off his collection. This is, I think, the fifth one we've sold in the last year or so. Uh, all of his cars are outstanding. Everyone we've sold them to has been very happy with them, uh, and this one's no exception. Amazing colors, body off frame restored, new top to bottom, and documented. This is just a copy, but we have the original protecto plate with the engine and transmission and rear end codes and who it was sold to. It's a Western car with all original metal, uh, the original sales invoice. Uh, and this car was pulled from a, a shed, so not a barn find, but like a, a shed find, I guess you can call it. And I do mean a shed. It's like the door was barely wide enough to get this car out of there. Paint is completely faded, but it looks solid as a rock. Um, so anyway, go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, look at pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find price tags on all of our cars, along with the monthly finance payment as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me and let's go for a spin. Well, I've said it a couple times, but again, the body was lifted off of the frame. The underbody of the car has pristine metal. I don't even see pits. It's smooth metal, the braces, the rockers, the lower quarters, all of it is beautiful, original metal, painted a nice, smooth satin black. Uh, same with the frame, uh, all smooth black, solid. The chassis was all apart. Uh, suspension, all the bushings, ball joints, spring shocks, you name it, that's all been gone through. The steering components, uh, real nice dual exhaust, like a factory style dual exhaust system. Uh, fuel system's new, the tank is shiny, the straps, the sending unit, all the lines, fuel lines, brake lines, all that was replaced. Uh, brakes were redone, has disc in front, uh, e-brake assembly is hooked up. You look up at the motor, it's super clean. Uh, the starter, the fuel pump, all those items look fresh and they're all factory. There's no, no Edelbrock or and nothing like that. Uh, the original Muncie number matching four speed that was born to this car uh, is there. Clutch was replaced. Uh, in back it has its original 12 bolt rear end with 355 gears. So under the car looks uh, practically brand new. Now the body, uh, only the SS427 had this raised hood right here, this hump on the hood. So that's kind of a, well not kind of, it's an extremely rare hood uh, to, if you had to find another one. But all of his cars are restored professionally. The body is outstanding, this is straight. This hood is square and flush, 20 foot side uh, 20 foot long panels are straight as can be. Uh, it also comes with the louvers on the SS. But there are no bubbles, there's no rust, there's no body work showing, no bad areas. All of this is super nice. I'm looking at the body now, the lines are nice. Uh, and it's a coupe, makes it even more rare. Uh, can't be many of these in existence. So look how it all fits real nice, square, flush, no bubbles, no rust. This side's the same way. Original color, it's called Tripoli Turquoise. Uh, the metal flake is laid out evenly, it's not blotchy, it's polished smooth and glossy. Paint probably looks better than it did uh, in 1968. 
all the trim. Well, the vinyl top was replaced. It came with a white vinyl top. I think that really makes it pop. Uh, and that's an excellent shape. All the stainless trim is straight and shiny. The window seals, weather strips were replaced. Door handles were replaced. All the moldings, everything's restored or replaced. Bow tie mirror. Uh, this is original vent window frame. It's nice and dry, it's not pitted. Windshield looks new. This chrome grill looks like it's re-chromed. SS427 emblems. The bumper's beautiful. As bumper guards, the grill is beautiful. It has T3 headlights. That's uh, you know, the original, what it would have been. Correct antenna. Optional passenger mirror. 15-inch rally wheels, all new trim. Radial red line tires. Now the SS427 came with a sport suspension, uh, bigger wheels and tires, the raised hood. So beautiful outside, just as beautiful inside. You got some neat features in there we're going to show you. Let's open it up and check it out. This trunk is huge. I think you can haul about three yards of mulch in this thing. No, it's beautiful. Look at the paint, just as sharp under here and the jam. Uh, new weather strip. The trunk compartment is all clean metal. It's been spatter painted very neatly. And look, they put a clear coat on it. They should all have a clear coat on it. Makes it so much more durable. The wiring's all excellent. You got a rally wheel spare. The jack assembly is back behind the tire. Nice mat. So you got a nice clean trunk compartment. It's got a trunk light. The bulb's probably burned out. I said he's a collector. He's not a flipper. He actually did this car in 07, only 1,000 miles on it. It looks like it was just done. Uh, typically, he'll spend more than what he gets out of the car. It's, it's, it's uh, his hobby, his passion. Door jams are beautiful, even up by the hinges. The weather strips are replaced. Uh, they call the interior parchment, but it's like a pearl white. Door panels, armrest, uh, window cranks, all that's in beautiful shape. So the dash is all mint, and over here you have a factory tachometer. And then on each side of the speedometer you've got gauges. And that yellow needle in the middle is a speed binder. It'll buzz when you hit whatever speed you set that at. Uh, and then it has an optional clock. AM FM radio, I did turn it on, nothing happened with the radio. Heater controls are nice, but all this trim, the dash pad, the glove box, SS427 emblem, uh, it's mint inside here, the light works. And then you've got the original console and a Muncie shifter, uh, the chrome ball, that's what it's supposed to have. <clears throat> Beautiful sports steering wheel. Um, the seats have been re-cushioned. They're nice and plump. And all nice new pearl white upholstery. Carpets are replaced as reproduction floor mats. Uh, seat belts all around. Everything in back's upholstered. The side panels, the seats. It's a real short package tray because it's a coupe. But all the trim. Uh, headliners redone. It's tight. Nice dome light. The mirror, the visors, everything in this car is pretty excellent condition. I thought the tachometer and gauges were really cool. The other thing is when he's restoring these big cars, they cost more money than a Chevelle or a Camaro would because parts aren't as easy to get. Now, is that beautiful? That is the original motor that was born to this car it's all numbers matching 427 385 horsepower restored to stock specifications all the manifolds valve covers air cleaner fuel filter uh, it has the correct hose clamps correct hoses these have a rib in the hose that's correct <clears throat> has a Delco battery topper with the spring clamp cables and you can see everything's painted and detailed and, and nice. The shroud, the radiator, the cap, all that's real nice. 
It features power steering uh, down there and power brakes back there, uh, under hood light, wiper motor, squirters, wiring. Everything looks like factory new. Now you're not going to be able to compare this to a 68 Impala. I mean, all things considered, uh, body off frame restored SS427, numbers matching throughout, four speed, gauges, colors, that all means a lot. You take away the four speed and put an automatic in there, you're knocking quite a bit off the value. You take this documentation and throw it away, you're knocking off the value. If the car was gold, uh, you're knocking off the value. So all these things added up makes this car really special. And a restoration like this starts at 100 grand these days, and you'll probably be waiting two years before you see your car. So, uh, I guess what I'm saying, I think the car is an excellent value. Whoever gets it's going to be very happy with it, and you're going to be getting something very special. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman, they'll help answer your questions. Uh, they can help you finance the car, they can help get this delivered to your driveway at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.